Generic greetings and welcome to Planet Side 2. This is going to be a combat medic strategy guide sort of thing. Um, this is just the initial sort of getting to the place where you're going to be. I'm going to go for a couple of uh, the best places to be a combat medic if you like switching it up a bit. And uh, a couple of strategies if you're not really good at aiming. Why not to play with noobs and well just generally how to be an effective combat medic. Um, yeah, that's really all I can say if you're a noob or if you're sort of not really good at aiming. How are you going to get them certification points? Now, as me being the Terran Republic, the uh, spammy guys, um, I'm not going to be doing too much like far away range sort of battles it's gonna be quite close quarters and where I'm just getting to my favorite spot when I like attacking this base uh, I don't really follow the crowd I'll heal a couple of people on the way because that's a good way to get XP and certification points and generally if you heal uh, two or three people you will get a cert and um, that's good that's really really good so I go around this side so I can actually get to the place where I want to be I need to chop down a couple of people with bullets uh, when I get to the point that I need to be. And if you find a small place like this and you are the Terran Republic, this will just be for the Terran Republic, obviously, because I am the Terran Republic. <laughs> um, this right to your left, you will see where I like to be. I'll just heal this guy, or this guy will heal it for me. Uh, here, right here. Now people just come flowing in through them doors. Uh, snipers can't just about aim through, so you might want to be careful where you're standing. So I'm just going to go through the loadout of what I usually use when I'm going for a close quarters attack. Um, as you can see I use this gun here, the T1 Cycler. And I use the pistol, um, which is really hard hitting, it's called the TX2 Emperor. So yeah, you can see I'm, I'm just mowing down guys. It's got a really high rate of fire, this machine gun. And I quite like the sight because of how, much, how visible it is when you're firing at people. It's very good. Obviously that costs so it's like every other attachment in the game. Since it is the default machine gun, obviously it's um, a lot of people are going to be having it, but it's not the gun itself, it's how you actually use it that's going to be effective. Um, I think it has 800 rounds per minute, which is really, really fast, like it's a very high fire rate. I'm kind of used to it now, and the recoil is quite low actually for a gun that fires so quick, but um, I have a left-right recoil compensation thing. Um, so I won't be strafe, well I'll strafe quite a lot, so strafing sort of more effective when you have that. Uh, that's that's what I can say, if you like strafing so you don't get headshotted by snipers, um, really that the compensator sort of left right sort of, you know, horizontal compensation is really going to help when you're strafing. If you don't know what strafing is, it basically is moving backwards and forwards like you see me doing quite a lot. Um, it literally reduces the chances of you getting headshotted by snipers and it means the enemy's gonna miss quite a lot of their bullets. You kind of do look like a bit of an idiot when you're sort of running side to side but it really does help in really tough combat situations especially if you're hip firing strafing can really help. Now to talk about the gun or whatever it is that you really want to hear about the gun that everybody becomes combat medic for. The medical applicator. It is um, very effective obviously it's, it's unique to the combat medic and it revives teammates, it can also heal them if they're low on health. Now when you're getting revived, it looks like, to you, it comes up with an accept decline and asks if you want to be revived. Um, you'll see it in a second, I believe. So here we go, this guy here is healing me. I click accept, so I get revived. You don't get revived with full health. You get revived with half health and no shield. So, if you're in a really tough combat situation, and you get revived in front of lots of people, that just means your enemy's going to be getting lots and lots of XP. So, them combat medics who revive people in front of enemies are really not very nice people. <laughs> when this checkered pattern appears on your gun, or whatever you're holding, that means you're getting healed, but not revived, because you're not dead. So, when you're getting healed, it will just, you know, increase the green bar. Not the uh, blue bar. The blue bar is your shield, the green bar is your health. Medics can only heal your health. 
If you're new to the game, I would really, really recommend being a combat medic. As long as you are really aware, when them skull and crossbones uh, signs come up, that means somebody is dead on your team and they need healing. So you then go up to them and you shoot your little laser gun. Not like that, I accidentally used the wrong gun. That'll happen a lot. When you're firing your healing gun, a little circle will pop up and you it'll have like a progression bar, like bar going along the edge. When that reaches the other side, so when it meets, that means it's healed, just like there, with a little cross in the middle. When it meets, that means they're revived. Don't even try to like do it for any longer than that, because that once that circle has progressed and it's finished, they will then get the message. They won't get the message first. So just for anybody who wanted to know. One of the best investments in certs that you can really do for a medic is the, well, reviving gun. Unfortunately a tank made it in and started firing through the door. There's nothing really you can do past that point, so I'm gonna put on some new gameplay. Uh, this is mainly, this gameplay sort of healing and stuff and not much combat. If you're wondering why my sort of progression bar is going a lot faster, that's because I have invested a lot of certs into my medic gun. It's nearly maxed out, just one more bar to go into it. Like I said before, and I will repeat again, this medic gun is going to be your best friend if you cannot aim at all. Really it is. And when you're with other medics, you will just get healed all the time. Like, really. You're always going to stay in the combat. Um, you can't be too cowardly with the whole medic thing. You can't just stay and never pull out your gun. You're always... You're going to need to, you know, sort of push and heal people on the front line rather than staying back and healing snipers or whatever. But obviously if you're, in this, if you're in the situation that I'm in in this gameplay when nobody's on the front line and everybody's staying back shooting um, well, and you're a combat medic so you really don't have a choice you can't snipe people with a, like an automatic machine gun so you're gonna have to just stay back and heal all the people. There are guns that you can get for the combat medic but I'm just using the default gun all kitted out you can, you know, get quite a distance gun, you know, medium to long range, but that means when you're in situations where you need to heal loads of people, like loads and loads of heavy assault, light assault and whatever, that means you will sort of struggle in them situations. And especially for new players who will only have this gun, they, they don't have the choice. Now in this footage, I am only level 14 or 15, I believe, so I'm not exactly the most effective planet side tour around so obviously I am still a bit of a noob myself but I'm pretty decent at first person shooters so I do get a bit of an advantage in that part so these are the situations that you want to be when you're being a combat medic you want to make sure there's lots of people fighting on the front line like this you know there's a best part of maybe 20 people fighting here and that's great because I know it sort of seems a bit harsh but that means more people are going to die, which means more XP for you. Um, I know you're trying to push as well, so what you're doing isn't just going to be XP, forget the whole takeover thing, I just want XP. You will still be helping when you're healing people, so it's not all loss. So when you heal around three people, not heal but revive, um, that, that really accounts to about 250 XP, which if you didn't know already, is one certification point. Still, it doesn't compare to getting a kill on someone, but at the end of the day, it's really, really good for just healing someone. And I get killed by my own team. That's wonderful. I really don't blame him. He's quite new, and, uh, well, I do have a camo on, and it's hard to sort of distinguish between enemy and ally when you're fighting against people with the same camo on. When you're being ballsy and running out and healing people, you will get killed a little bit. Not too much if you strafe backwards and forwards, which means when you go and walk up to somebody, you shoot your revive gun at them whilst they're dead. You'll probably see me do it here. You revive them, you walk side to side so you can't get headshotted. You still get shot a little bit. Obviously, I just took a bit of damage. But it wasn't life running, so it's all good. Another good thing about being in groups is literally you can take down a mech in a matter of seconds like you see there, which is great which means there's less worries. Obviously the mech did get a kill on someone and there was an ally mech behind him probably shooting him right up the backside. So, took him out pretty quick. So you wanna make sure that you've not always got your medic gun out because it that's not good. Because, say, it takes a couple seconds to switch between guns and really if you start firing your medic gun at someone, it's not really gonna uh, do much damage to him. 
So <laughs> you want to make sure if you're running around looking for people to revive or looking for people to kill, you have your main sort of gun out. Now let's talk about what you want to spend your certification points on. You want to buy a good armor. I've opted for the Nano Weave, which basically gives you like a resistance to small arms like, you know, machine guns, SMGs or whatever. It doesn't make you invincible, but it's still really effective. It, uh, I think when you put one cert into it, it actually gives you one more bullet to a kill. So say it took seven bullets for somebody to kill you, it would then take eight. So very effective. It might not seem like much, but it's very effective. Also, you do have an option to choose C4, a restoration kit, or a medical kit. These items would go into your utility slot, but you can only pick one. The C4 would cost you 200 certs, the medical kit would cost you 50, and the restoration kit will cost you 30 certs. The C4 is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll explain what the restoration and the medical kit do. The medical kit will instantly restore a portion of your health. The restoration kit will restore your health over a matter of, you know, about, I think it's about six seconds when you first get it. Since you can't actually heal yourself unless you're using your special ability, um, it's probably going to become in really effective in really tough combat situations. You also have two grenade options, a revive grenade and a heal grenade, and they're pretty self-explanatory. If you have a heal grenade, it'll just heal the people in the explosion area. Um, it won't actually damage anyone, so don't try and throw a healing grenade at a group of enemies. Or the revive grenade, which is my personal favourite and most expensive, which will actually revive a group of enemies like everyone in the explosion area. So it'll basically bring up that little box to accept or deny. And, well, you can choose to accept or deny it. Most people, I assume, would like to accept that unless they want to change their class. So to resupply, 10 grenades is 45 infantry points. Um, You'll usually start off with about 750. They do regenerate over time, so when you don't want to be too precious about them, because it is really slow to work down. Unless you're really spamming them grenades, you will not run out of infantry points. Now, if you see medics hanging around back at the snipers, where the snipers usually hang out, they probably don't know what they're doing, because the medics, they are kitted with enough firepower um, to take out a lot of enemies. They have the heavy assault weapons, so it's not too shabby. You may be asking yourself, why would I forfeit my adrenaline shield that the heavy assault can have for just healing people? Well, the reason is, a squad of people would not function without the combat medic. They are the most essential of all classes to be in a squad. Also, a topic to bring up is the newbie combat medics who don't understand how they work and their unawareness on the battlefield. Sometimes you'll be shooting people and you'll die and there'll be a medic running around on your corpse not understanding what to do. That's a terrible situation. I've been in that situation quite a lot. I'm gonna finish off the uh, video here with uh, a bit of gameplay about what happens if you're not in a big group. How ineffective the combat medic actually is when you're just as a single person. It's still quite effective, you will get a few kills, but there's not really much you can do. You still got the firepower to take out a lot of people, but as you can see, you're literally a running target. The enemies understand how essential you are and will shoot you first.